Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at our calendar. We're in that second week of December. Here's the first week, and we're in the second week of December. So let's see if we can figure out what today is. Let's say our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How many is that? How many days are there in every single week? Do you remember? Five, six, seven. Seven days in every single week never changes, and they're always in the same order. We don't go like Sunday, Tuesday, Friday. Mm -mm. Always in the right, in the same order, and it's always seven days every single week. So let's see what today is. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, and let's figure out what number comes next. Let's count it, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's see if we can say the date. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. Now let's see if we can figure out what yesterday was. If today is Wednesday, yesterday is that day before. What comes right before Wednesday? It's the one that starts with T-U. Tuesday. What will tomorrow be? After you sleep tonight, then that'll be tomorrow. So let's see. Tuesday, Wednesday, that's today. Tomorrow will be, what comes right after Wednesday? Thursday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. What number would you expect to see here? What comes right after nine? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would expect to see a ten there. Now, we've been talking about counting by fives and tens, and I'm gonna show you some other things that you might need to count by fives and tens to count really fast, okay? So one of the things you can count really fast by fives is tally marks. So let's say you were having a big birthday party and you had 25 people coming to your birthday party. That's a lot of people, right? So you want to make sure every single person that comes to your party gets a treat bag or something. Or needs a, it gets a piece of cake, maybe. So you have to make sure you've got 25. So maybe you're using tally marks when you're counting them. So you've got your treat bags made and you're counting them. And maybe you're using tally marks for the treat bags so you can count them really fast. Okay. So this is what you end up with. You've counted all your treat bags and you've got this, okay? You, you, and tally marks are by fives, right? Because you do one, two, three, four, shut the gate, five, yeah? So I can just say five right here. So I got my five treat bags and then five more. What's five plus five? Ten. That's the next thing you say when you count by tens. You say five, ten, then it's ten and five more. You can trust your brain to put ten in your head and put five up and count on and find out what that is. So ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hmm. That is what comes next when you count by fives. Okay. <laughs> then I can figure that one out too because I can trust my brain with fifteen. I can put 15 in my head and put five up and count on. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh gosh, can we figure out 20 and five more? Yes, because you can trust your brain. 20 and five more, okay? Put 20 up here, touch your head, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, now we can count by fives. Look, it's right up here for you to look at. You ready? You say it with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Do you know what will come next after 25? Do you remember? I'll tell you what. We'll look on our chart and see what comes after that. So let's see what comes after 25. After 25, oh, here we go. We can finish counting. We're on 25, we're gonna keep going. 
30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. All right. Now we're going to count by tens. I'm going to show you something that um, you would need to count by tens. So in math, sometimes we use unifix cubes to figure things out. All right. So I know that this stick that I built has 10 cubes in it. I'll prove it. All right. So we use this to measure, if you remember to see how long some things were to do some non-standard measuring. So trust me when I say there are 10 here, but we'll count them just so you know that I put 10 cubes together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I know there's 10 here. So now what happens when I add another one? Now I have to count them by tens because it would take me forever to say one, two, three, four, five, six. I would have to say 20 numbers to count all this. But if I count by tens, I only have to say two numbers. I only have to say 10, 20, super fast, right? Because I know there's 10 in each one. Look, same size, same exact size. I know, I don't even have to count the second one because I know there's 10 there because there was 10 there in the first one and these match up exactly. So I'm gonna count them by tens and see how many I have all together, all right? Oh goodness, I don't know if I can hold them all, I'll try. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I have 10 sets of 10. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sets of 10. Now, if I counted these by ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I would end up at 100 when I was done. But I can count them super fast by tens. Ready? You count them with me this time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job. Alrighty. Now, I want to use one of my UN words from my UN word family today, and I'm going to use the word fun. Do you know how to spell fun? It has UN at the end. What did you hear at the beginning? I heard F. I heard F U N fun. So my sentence today is going to be We will have fun at the park. Hmm, how many words? Five. Six, seven. I need seven words today. First word is we. Mm. I hear W at the beginning. And then I hear long E. Capital letter at the beginning of my sentence. Capital W. We. If you have your board, you can write with me. We. The next word is will. Oh, that sounded just like the beginning of we. W we w will. Starts with a W. Leave a nice space. W. W. I. O. Hmm. What's in the middle? W. I. 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 What's that I sound? Like igloo. It's I. Will. Oh, there's my tongue touching my teeth when I say that last sound. O. L. L. And it takes two L's. We will, and I said the next word is have, so I'm going to leave a nice space, and we know have starts with that, that breathy sound, H, H-A-V-E, we will have, and then I'm going to use a, one of my U-N word family words, fun, and I said it started with F, and I know it ends with U-N. Fun at 
at is the next word. That's one of your sight words that you learned the first couple weeks of school. Do you remember how to spell at? At. A. T. We will have fun at. My next word is the. And I'm going to leave a nice space before I write the. We will have fun at the park. Mm -hmm. Same sound sounds like penguin or picnic. Park starts with P. Okay, P A R K. All right, here we go. We're going to read it together. You ready? We will have fun at the park. Now, <laughs> if I'm going to the park and I'm going to have fun, I'm probably super excited about it. So I probably wouldn't say it that way, right? I would probably say, we will have fun at the park. Mm. So what kind of a mark needs to go at the end? Because I'm super excited called an exclamation mark to show the person who's reading it that I'm excited about this. So do you remember how to make that? It's a straight line down with your little period at the bottom. So a straight line down and a period at the bottom to show that you're super excited about having fun at the park. Got it? Let's read it together and let's read it with that excited mark. We will have fun at the park. All right, have a great day.